Hi, I'm Ken Chan from Silicon Angle TV, and we're going to be setting up the Nexus Q from Google. So the Nexus Q is Google's first streaming media appliance. So let's just get to it. Coming out here, we have the Nexus Q is in this nice little box. Uh, it's a pretty well-designed box. Not too bad. Let's just open it up. Slides out right here. Now, I've already pre-cut the tapes on the side because it just makes it that much easier for me to do it. So let's uh, open it up here. It's pretty decent cut. So this is the Nexus Q itself right here. It's uh, this little ball-shaped thing. You can see we have four uh, speaker jacks here, uh, basically two left and right parallel plus minus jacks, as well as network, power, HDMI, a USB port, and an optical out port for your uh, digital stereo receivers. And furthermore in the box is basically a quick, simple instruction manual. Just this one little sheet here, quick start guide and an HDMI cable. Now the power cable actually came into a separate box which I already pulled out and uh, we can take a look at that when we're powering it on. So up next, let's uh, power this guy up and uh, see what we got. So now we have our monitor and our queue set up here. I've already hooked in the queue to the monitor using the include HDMI cable. So let's just uh, power it up. So simple, it's just a simple power plug here. We turn it on, it glows blue for a second as it spins around and gets configured. It should come up on the screen here in just a second. Now this has not been configured yet, so we're going to see how to configure this thing from the very from when you open the box to uh, when you actually hook it into your phone. So right now we have the welcome screen on this on the TV here with the Nexus with the uh, welcome in a number of different languages. So using my uh, Nexus Galaxy phone here, we use the Nexus Q app and look for new devices. Now make sure your Bluetooth is turned on on the phone. That way you can find the Nexus, unless you actually use a wired connection on the Nexus. But the Nexus itself can actually, the Nexus Q here, can use Bluetooth and uh, wireless, so you don't need to have a hard line. So I found the phone, the blue Nexus Q, that hasn't been turned on yet. Uh, let's assign this to the office, and it's connecting. Just give it a second. Now it's going to ask me for a network connection because it's on wireless, so it needs a network connection. Uh, the phone knows that I'm on a specific network connection already, and it just sends that information over to the queue. Oh, connections are finished, oh, and everything's good to go. Now uh, the queue is pretty much powering up, doing its final initializations. Uh, in the meantime, my setup is complete, and I can start playing media, to, media here. Either play music or uh, movies and TV from the Google Play Store, or I can play YouTube videos. So, and that's all for the setup. So let's just play some video here. Uh, let me pull up YouTube. Everything works pretty wirelessly and effortlessly, and it's a pretty simple setup to deal with. And once you have the queue and the TV set up, and once your phone's connected to it, all you have to do is send a YouTube video to it, and you just start playing it. And it'll just play on the TV itself. You can read more about the Nexus Q and read the full in-depth review at our website, silkenangle.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here, and give this video a thumbs up. My name is Kian Tran, and thanks for watching.